Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I dry the cars I do. Um, actually, this is probably in the top five of requested videos that people have asked me for. And I'm gonna do that today. Now keep in mind that everybody has different ways of drying their cars. And this is just the way that I do it. The number one thing in my mind when I'm drying a car is to minimize the chance of scratching it, okay? So that's the first thing. So if your paint is in really, really good shape and the water beads really nice on it, uh, you can start by using a leaf blower. This is, I get probably the majority of the water off with the leaf blower. If your car, the paint is flat, the water doesn't want to bead, uh, this is pretty much going to waste your time because you're not going to really be able to blow it off. But the, what I use, uh, and it's pretty much, I'm going to say mandatory to use a detail spray of some kind. Sometimes I use Optimum mixed with distilled water. Sometimes I use this Meguiar's uh, Express Spray Wax. This is my favorite just because it allows the medium that I'm using, and this is the rag companies. This is my absolute favorite drying towel. This is a big, like a pluffle. Um, they also have something else called um, Dry Me a River, which I use these all the time. And the reason that I use those instead of the normal super plush, like 480 gram, I use these to buff the car. I'll use it to um, just dry any stray residue, but for the actual drying, this is my all-time favorite. This is kind of a, a uh, quilt weave, cobra weave. This is, my, this is Korean microfiber, so it, it's the best that's out there. South Koreans are masters at making the best quality microfiber in the world. So um, that being said, this is a very, very large towel. Okay, and I'm gonna put a link to all this stuff in the, in the bottom below. People have commented all the time on my videos, how come your car doesn't have water spots? Well, the reason is how you dry it. The sprayer that I use, I've gone through tons and tons and tons of different sprayers. This is my absolute favorite sprayer. This is a double action sprayer. It sprays forward and backwards. Okay, so you actually only have to pull the trigger once and let it go to get two sprays what you would normally do for a regular sprayer they're pretty heavy duty um, i've dropped these and they haven't cracked or anything so they're very very well worth the money i have these in half a liter size and i also use them in the full liter size so like this one i've got the mcguire's in and the other one i use it's got the optimum in distilled water so whichever one i grab that day is the one that i use so all this is to minimize scratches. And I think probably out of all this, the most important is your microfiber towel. Please do not use a terry cloth towel. Don't use a California water blade. Don't use a chamois. All that stuff was what we used to use in the 1980s and 90s. Um, the best way to dry the car is to not touch it. So if your paint is super, super, super slick you just waxed it and you can get by with drying it with just the leaf blower, that's great. Um, but I do a combination of both. I do like to have the detail spray or the Meguiar's on there as needed. So I'm going to uh, reset the camera up and we will go ahead and show you exactly what I do. All right, well, here's the car when it's wet. It has exceptional water beating and it when you're driving in a rainstorm, the water sheets or the beads go straight right off the car. So if you're able to use a leaf blower, I'm gonna show you how to do that properly now.
right, so for all practical purposes, I've gotten 90% of the water off. You still don't want to leave it like this because you can still have water spots. So the next thing I do is I take my microfiber drying towel. And I'll just barely just mist just a little bit right here with the Meguiar's and just run it like that. Okay, and notice it's in the sun. It's not going to matter one bit. And then I'll take a one of my 480 gram Eagle edgeless and just give it a quick buff like that. No, this is not going to scratch the car at all. So I'll just work my way around the entire car just like that. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is do the door jams. I'm gonna take my Eagle Edgeless 480 gram towel. I'm just gonna give it a couple spritz of the whatever detail spray I was using at the time. And I'm just going to wipe down the door jams. and also the jam that's on the door itself. So I'll show you guys later, but my door jams are just as clean, slick, and spotless as the outside of the car. So really, you know, if I do a lot of cars and people, they don't seem to care about the jams. These things are dirty. They get, you got to clean them the same time you clean your car. If you do this every time, the jams will never get dirty. I mean, they'll only get a week's worth of dirt. You can always tell somebody that's a real automotive enthusiast about detailing when you look at the door jams. Um, I want all the painted surfaces to be clean and shiny. Believe it or not, if I get in somebody's car, that's probably one of the first things I look at, just, I don't know, naturally. And yeah, I'll say something if their jams are dirty. <laughs> and then some people get the jams and not worry about the trunk. Well, get the trunk, that's part of it. it takes no time at all to wipe this down. And it just gives your detailing job a much more polished look when you have clean door jams and of course when you do your door jams 
Don't forget the trunk side. That gets just as dirty as the body side. I've had some cars where they were only a couple years old and I had to spend an hour doing the door jams because I had so much garbage in them. And last but not least, do not forget the gas fill door and recess area. This is just as clean as the rest of the car right here as you can see. Okay guys, so that in a nutshell is how I dry my car and pretty much any other car that I dry. Just remember that if you don't have a leaf blower or have access to one, you can also use a one of the Metrovacs. You can, uh, there's a variety of other devices that will blow air. Um, if your paint is in good shape and the water beads well and it travels really quick on the surface as you blow the air, then you can do that. If not, then just start with the towels that I told you. I'm gonna put a link to everything in Amazon. After about 40 years of doing this, this is the most efficient as far as not only time, but also in not damaging your paint. Now just keep in mind, okay, you can't, anytime you touch your car, you have a potential to put scratches and swirls in it. What we're trying to do is just minimize that and keep the car looking great. And again, um, sometimes I use the Optimum. In fact, I'll show you that right now. So this is usually what I will use mixed with distilled water. I'll put it in the same spray or same kind of spray bottle that I showed you guys earlier with the Meguiar's. Uh, it works just as well. I don't see a whole lot of difference. Both of them really help to reduce any type of abrasion on the painted surface it, itself. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to continue doing these little short videos. I am going to have how I clean my wheels and tires video very soon. We hopefully will have a series on tire and wheel products intertwined with our Amazon Soap Fest. Uh, there's a lot of videos to make. If you guys will continue to help support, this is a viewer supported channel. I'd appreciate that. There's a donation link on the bottom in the description uh, in the box there if you'd like to donate and have me test a product that I otherwise may not get to. So guys, I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate everybody's comments. I will see you on the next video.